In this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can add Redux inside this React application and create a centralized store. As you know, we need to transfer data from one component to another. Instead of adding property drilling, we're going to use Redux inside this project and share the data between different components. So let me just back to my project, close this file. You can notice inside my source, I have asset, component, and SAS folder. Inside this source, I'm going to create another folder. And I'm going to name that folder container. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this folder. Inside this container, I'm going to create all the Redux files. So let me first create here a file with the name store.js. Let me create a new file and name it actions.js. Inside this file, I'm going to create my action creator. Then I'm going to create another file here. I'm going to name it types.js. Inside this file, I'm going to create different types of actions. Now, if you want to add action types inside this action file, you can do that as well. But I'm going to add that inside this dedicated file. Just out of that, here inside this container, I'm going to create another file with the name reducer.js. Using reducer, we're going to dispatch different actions. So now, let me just first add Redux inside this project and then show you how you can create a store inside it. So let me first add a Redux module inside this project and then we're going to make a store inside this project. We already learned the basic understanding of Redux in the previous lectures. So let's first install the Redux module inside this project. I'm going to open my terminal and open a new bash shell. Here, I'm going to first enter into my one app and clear the screen. Just down here, I'm going to just simply say npm i for install and then I'm going to install a module called Redux. Then along with that, we need to install a module called React Redux. Now just for that, I'm going to press enter to install both this module inside this project. So just for that, I'm going to clear the screen, close this terminal and inside this store, I'm going to create a command and say create new store. So as you know, to create a new store, you need to import create store function. So I'm going to say here import create store from and then I'm going to specify here Redux module. From the Redux, we're going to import create store function. Just for that, just down here, I'm going to create a variable called constant store is equal to and then I'm going to pass this function create store. And as you know, as a first argument, you need to pass here reducer. I don't have any reducer right now inside my project. So let me create a reducer and pass that to this create store. Inside this reducer.js, here I'm going to create my reducer. So let me add here a command and say reducer. Creating a reducer is just like creating a function inside JavaScript. Here I'm going to say function, then specify the name for this reducer. I'm going to specify name it root reducer. That's upon you, you can specify any name to this reducer function. And to this root reducer, you need to pass two parameters. First is the state and second is the action. You need to pass both these parameters to this root reducer. Once you pass that, the syntax of your reducer is completely ready. So now once I create my root reducer, let me first export that so I can use that inside my store.js. So before this function name, then I'm going to specify export default. So this statement is going to export this root reducer function. Let me save this file back to my store.js and here I'm going to first import root reducer. So I'm going to see here import root reducer from in the double quote. I'm going to specify dot forward slash and then specify my reducer file name. As you know, inside this root reducer, we have a function. So I'm going to pass this root reducer as a first parameter to this create store. Just like this. Just for that, I'm going to simply export as a default this store variable. This is a simple syntax of creating store inside Redux. Just for that, I'm going to save this file, save this reducer file as well, back to my action, and here I'm going to create different actions inside this project. So let me first create action type. So I'm going to back to the types.js, and here I'm going to create my action types. Now, because we are working with login system, I have five action types. Now, if your application is different, you have different action type and you have different action creators. So what I'm going to do is inside this action type, here I'm going to create constant variables with the capital letters to recognize these types. So I'm going to first specify name to this variable, register success is equal to, 
and in the double quote i'm going to specify register success now you can notice here i created a dedicated file for the action types if you want you can create these constant variables inside this action.js file as well just out of that i want to export this action register success so before the variable name i'm going to simply specify export that's it this will simply export this variable so i can use it in my other files just out of that here i'm going to create another action type so i'm going to say here export constant register fail is equal to and in the double quote i'm going to say register fail just out of that i'm going to say here export constant login success is equal to login success then i'm going to say here export constant in the double quote i'm going to say login fail is equal to login fail at the last i'm going to say here export constant logout is equal to logout so you can notice here i have five action types register success register fail login success login fail and logout i'm going to create all these actions inside this action.js file when the registration is successful i'm going to call this action register success when the registration is fail i'm going to call this register fail action type when the login is successful i'm going to call this login success action type when the login is failed i'm going to call this login failed action type and for the logout i'm using this logout action type and just for that inside this action.js i'm going to create action creator so let me first import these types inside these actions so here i'm going to simply say import star as action type from in the single quote i'm going to specify dot forward slash and then specify here types variable so using this action type object i can access all these variables instead of individually importing all these variables inside this file i'm going to create object and store all these variables inside it now once you understand how to create store reducer action types and action syntax in the next lecture we're going to implement this reducer function